What up, Wildfire? It's Coach Skip. It is Wednesday. We are getting ready for a great day. We got the last week of the Open coming up, so uh, let's get after it here today. We got a Tabata-style warm-up. We're going 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. We're going to do two rounds through the exercises, starting with the reverse lunge. So just stepping back, touch that knee to the ground, all the way up. Really work on keeping that chest up nice and tall the entire time and keep those hands off the knees as much as possible. After that, we're gonna go into V-ups. On that V-up, really reaching for those toes, keeping the arms and legs straight, hinging at the hips the entire time, and engaging that core. Then you're gonna grab that PVC and do thrusters. In that thruster, elbows in front of the bar, however, elbows down, loose grip on that bar, get that full squat, explode overhead, all the way up and down. Make sure you get that head through the window at the top to really loosen up those shoulders. After you complete two rounds of that, then we're gonna go into two rounds with a barbell. And so you're gonna use that, same, that barbell in that same rack position. And we're gonna do those same reverse lunges. Step back, step up. Now we're adding a little bit of weight to it. The next exercise is gonna be lemon squeezers. So on that lemon squeezer, what we're looking for is reaching for those heels and bringing the knees into the chest. If you need to, you can stay on your back, bring your knees into your chest this way as well. And then we're gonna finish up with those barbell thrusters. So same thing, elbows in front of the bar, get down, get that head through the window, really explode on those thrusters. For our strength today, we're gonna to do an every two minutes on the two minutes for 10 rounds. So this is gonna be a total of 20 minutes. We want you to get heavy with these back squats. So go up and wait over the course of the 10 rounds and adjust accordingly. Uh, when you get in here, make sure that you've got that barbell on your back. Bring those hands in to help keep that chest up. Feet about shoulder width apart and Keep that chest up as you get that hip crease below parallel and all the way up to the top, full extension. Make sure you're standing up at full extension for each one of these three reps. Again, go up and wait, get heavy, make it challenging, have fun with this one. This is a great strength for today. If you've got lightweight or dumbbells or kettlebells, we're gonna increase the reps on this and you're gonna do four to six back or front squats. If you've got a barbell, even if it's lighter that you have to clean it up and put it on your back, that's okay. Otherwise, you're gonna grab your dumbbells or kettlebells and get into that front rack position right in here and get those same squats. Again, full range of motion, keep the dumbbells right where they're at on the shoulders, elbows slightly in front, and just get higher reps. Same thing every two minutes for 10 rounds. If you have the ability to go up and wait over the course of this, great. Otherwise, as you get towards the end, go up in reps. You might start the first few rounds at four reps and then go up to six reps for the last three to four rounds. Make it challenging, make it fun. This should be something that you really get a lot out of. For the body weight version, if you don't have any weight at all, we're gonna do air squats, 15 air squats. We're looking on good form here, good technique, feet shoulder width apart. Keep that chest up as you're getting down, hip crease below parallel. Stand all the way up to the top. As you get through this one, same every two minutes for 10 rounds. Get a little bit faster with those air squats. Last couple rounds, really work on getting that cardio version of that air squat where you're going faster, getting that heart rate up, and still hitting the full range of motion every time. For the workout today, we've got every, uh, we've got two minutes of work, and then you're gonna have one minute of rest, and we're gonna do three rounds of this. Every round, you're gonna be going up in weight on the thrusters. How the whole thing is gonna go is you have two minutes to complete 20 toes to bar or V-ups. On that toes to bar, really focus on keeping everything tight here, Get that toes to the bar every time. Work on keeping those legs straight. On the back end, keep those legs straight so you get that power through the hips 
and really fold at the middle with that flexibility to get both toes hitting the bar between the hands at the same time. If you don't have a bar to use, you can do this with V-ups where you're doing that same collapsing motion right up and down. We're looking for intensity for those 20 reps so you have as much time as possible to do as many thrusters as possible afterwards. On that thruster with that barbell, the first rep, you're gonna do that squat clean right into those thrusters and then just keep it going as many reps as you can do in the remaining time of that two minutes. The prescribed starting weight is gonna be 95 and 65. Then you're gonna take a one minute rest. Then you're gonna do the same two minutes of 20 uh, toes to bar or V-ups and then max reps thrusters at a, the next weight. And then you're gonna go up again to the next weight for the third set of these. Have fun, go fast, really work those thrusters, full range of motion. If you don't have a barbell to use and you need to do this body weight or with dumbbells, dumbbells, you can do the same version where you're getting that full range of motion, head through the window every time. Or with no equipment, you're just gonna do this with jumping squats, getting that exploding squat up to the top. Have fun, guys. It's Wednesday. We still got a few workouts this week. We will see you soon here at Wildfire CrossFit. Have a great day.